Hey everyone, today I just wanted to show you uh, some of the seeds that I'm starting uh, and have started and uh, you know it's quite a variety of things so I think there's something for everyone hopefully uh, and a lot of the stuff I haven't actually tried before but some of it I have and um, it's been really fun so I actually would really recommend that you try some of these if you want to but otherwise just enjoy the video. All right, so the other day I was eating a Bartlett pear and it was really, really good. So I decided to save some of the seeds. So I just put them in an old napkin that I had from some takeout um, a while back. And I put them in this bag. And then this is about a week later, they have started to germinate. And you can kind of tell at the end there that this one has germinated. The other projects I've been working on are all over here by the window. Uh, starting off, we've got this guava. This is a strawberry guava. I got this from a $1 seed store, which is a Montreal company. And I don't know if they're gonna work or not, but uh, I got them and we're giving them a shot. Um, these are kind of interesting because the way that you uh, germinate them is you have to get them out of dormancy by boiling them. So first I boiled the seeds, which was very interesting. And there's a clip here. Um, and then I just put them in these little uh, pots that I had here and put some cocoa peat on top of them, uh, which is one of my preferred seed starting um, media. So over here, I have a mango that I uh, started from seed a little while ago. I think it's been about two weeks now. Anyway, it's, uh, it's germinated. Uh, it's just not through the soil yet. So these next guys were really fun and easy as well. So if you're interested in this sort of thing, you should try this one. Um, this is dragon fruit, these guys in the front here. Um, they're really fun to grow. Uh, the dragon fruit looks like this. And uh, pretty much what I did was I just scooped out some of the seeds. I ate the dragon fruit, it was really good actually. I ate the dragon fruit, scooped out the seeds, put them onto this piece of paper towel here. And then I let the paper towel dry and then I just cut out the seeds. Um, so it was just a really easy method of doing this. I saw plants and things, Bill B, he did this. And so I just really wanted to try it, so. Um, here I'm just cutting out the little pieces of paper towel that have the seeds on them. I decided since I had these little weirdly shaped pieces, I would just stick them all together uh, in the same pot. And uh, yeah, I just pretty much placed them on the surface of some cocoa peat. And uh, this cocoa peat, I, I moistened it a little bit, so it's, it's already wet. But, um, and then I just put a little tiny bit of cocoa peat on the top, not really very much, like not even a quarter of an inch, not even one eighth of an inch really. It was not very much at all. And I got out the, the larger pieces of cocoa peat as well. After that, I just uh, sprayed the pots down with some water. And then I just have this bag. I have a bunch of these bags that I just reuse multiple times for seeds. And so they're, you know, like a little bit dirty, but uh, what can you do? And I usually just uh, fill them up with breath air. So after 11 days, this is what I had. Uh, you can sort of see that some uh, growth has happened there. Um, I also sort of decided to open the bag on this day, just mostly because it uh, had developed a little bit of mold there. 
you know, 13 days later, so this is two days after the last snippet, and you can see that they've grown significantly during this time period. Um, and, and now what we have are some real seedlings. I didn't really know that cactus could be grown this way. Uh, especially when you think of cacti not really loving uh, moisture and wetness, this just sort of doesn't make that much sense. But, you know, they have to grow somehow, I guess, and um, they do really easily, and I highly recommend, if you're interested in this sort of thing, trying this yourself. So the next thing is this uh, lemon seedling that I have here. So you can see it's uh, pretty nicely grown now, but to be honest, this took a really long time to grow properly. So here's three weeks after planting. It took forever to germinate. Um, and then three days after that, it really hasn't made much progress. Uh, six days later, uh, now it's starting to speed up a little bit. It seems like it's kind of an exponential growth because um, it really took forever to actually pop through the soil. Um, and, and with the, the lemon seed, the most important thing that I can tell you if you're intending to do this yourself is that you really need to peel the lemon seed, otherwise it's gonna take like a year. Because um, the lemon seed, it's, it's covered in this coating and it just can't get through it otherwise. Brief mention, this ficus that I have been rooting, uh, pretty much I just put it into this pot and it's been fine. It's been about two months that it's been in there. It hasn't grown at all, but I assume it has some roots at this point since it doesn't look dead. So that's kind of interesting. The next thing is um, this other pot. This is also citrus. So it's a mixture of uh, kaffir lime and these I also got from the $1 seed store in Montreal. I don't know if they're going to germinate, uh, they did get a little bit dried out on the way, but um, just in case, I also did a grapefruit. Um, I haven't had very much luck with grapefruit in the past, but I figured I'd give it another shot. So pretty much just opened the grapefruit, took out the biggest seed. You probably want to do more than one seed, but this one just happened to only have one seed. And like I said, with citrus you really have to peel the uh, outer skin off the seed. So that's just what I'm doing here. It's really slippery and it's difficult to keep your hands on, so um, you do have to be careful. Once you have a peeled seed, it should look like this. I would be kind of careful not to damage the seed as you're peeling it, just because it, it needs to be whole, effectively. Unlike other things, it, it doesn't really like to be scarred. So that pretty much sums up the uh, germinations that I have going on on the windowsill. Um, something else that I wanted to show you was uh, I'm doing another avocado tree, because they're just so successful in my house, and I just, I just love them. So again, just opening up the avocado, just like with the grapefruit, and um, you know, you, you need to get some of this goop off um, so that you can handle this properly. But this is the absolute best way to grow an avocado. You, you have to peel the skin off. It is absolutely mandatory. It will take so much longer if you don't peel the skin off. Um, some people like to put these in water which I think is, uh, you know, it's an okay method of doing it, but honestly the roots don't end up nearly as strong as using this method. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't use the water method with the toothpicks and all that, it's just not worth it. Um, this way is way simpler and also will uh, produce an avocado tree for you way faster. So the only thing to note when planting is that there is a right side up and it's just the more pointy side. 
I've decided to plant this avocado seed in with my lantana just because I know that I, I will end up watering it because the lantana needs a lot of water. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you next week. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs>